What up everyone, welcome back to iTrust Stream. If this is your first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss out on this video. And at the end of this video, let me know in the comment section below how your Plex setup is going. Uh, so welcome to episode three of the Plex series. Uh, this Plex series after today's episode will be taking a break. Uh, we're gonna be doing stuff like in threes. So the next time we do pick up the Plex series will be episode four, five, and six. It's gonna be coming on the later date. So if you guys want to go ahead and get started with this series, you guys can go to episode one and watch number two. And then right after that, go ahead and watch this one. So if this is your first time watching, uh, make sure to go ahead and start it from the beginning. So again, friendly reminder, we will be picking up four, five, and six at a later date, possibly later on this month. So definitely don't wanna have like six videos of Plex back to back to back to back to back. It can be very repetitive. And I am talking to a wide audience that is looking for other alternatives when it comes to streaming. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to categorize your Plex, how to organize your guys' folders. So put some collections of your favorite movies. So a lot of people have been asking about that. I've been taking some notes uh, from my last video and a lot of you were asking about how to organize. So this is a quick tip. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on the computer real quick and show you how to categorize it on the on your guys' plex. So I hope you've been enjoying this series as much as I have. Here we go. Today, we're gonna be talking about collections. Put over here, and I just put a, a couple as an example, like the Fast and Furious, Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, Slash World, The Lord of the Rings, Purge, Rocky, and uh, Transformers. And today we're gonna we're gonna be doing uh, Star Wars. So you can see right here that the collection only has one movie. So what we're gonna do is go over to my main server and we're gonna go look up Star Wars. So we can pretty much have majority of the movies already here but I also want them to be shown available. So we're gonna go over here to the first one. We're gonna click on this little pin and we're gonna go under tags. See right here, if you click tags, you're gonna see an, uh, an area for collections and we're gonna title it Star Wars and we're gonna add Star Wars to the collections. I should already have Star Wars in here. So right there, Star Wars, if you haven't added it yet, add, type in Star Wars and then click add, but since this is already here, I'm gonna add it to the existing uh, collection that I already have, that I already started. What's cool about this also is make sure you save that. What's cool about this also is that you can go over here to posters and be able to change uh, different backgrounds. So if I want my background to be that, I can click save changes and then I can change my background. I can change, uh, I mean, sorry, you can change the poster, you can change the background. There's so many different things that you're able to do if I wanted to say, hey, uh, I think this one looks really cool. I'm gonna add that. So anyways, we're gonna go over here down the line and add to the collection. So go to tags. Okay, so we add, I have a couple of these duplicates because I have uh, some of the, um, I have some of these minimalist style ones and then I have some of the old school. So I'm just gonna go in there, organize this a little bit. So now that we have our movies over here, you can click on the collections. And then so say if you were to play a movie, it will pop up right here, Star Wars Collection. So it will pull up everything about, everything that uh, that you listed under that same collection. It's gonna pull it up together. So after you watch your movie, you can uh, just stay organized. As a tip, if you ever get a file of a TV show and then it doesn't pop up with the, the background, what you can do is you go over here and hit match. It's gonna auto detect or you can wake it tuna right here. Should find the background boom now it's done if i want to change my background to this one my banner and then my background i want to change it we'll keep it that there we go perfect another thing that i wanted to show you guys is going over here to your settings once you go over to your settings you're going to have this little bar right here one of the main things that you want to do look into when you do have starting your Plex is kind of going over your transcoder settings. It can change the, the quality of your video and also it can change how fast your video loads. The transcoder quality you uh, is, is something that you definitely do want to look into. So when you click on your video, it's going to load. So let me give you an example. I'm just gonna put on Simpsons real quick. But pause. See how it's currently loading? This is a transcoding, so you, you're able to fast forward it without it buffering at any time. So that's something that you definitely want to look into. You could put a lot of strain on your CPU. It could put a lot of strain on your server. 
So whatever server that you're using for your Plex, uh, it can definitely uh, make or break your experience. To go through your transcoder settings, you can have it set to automatic, you can set it to prefer higher speed encoding, prefer higher quality encoding, and also hurt my CPU. Um, so if you have it on prefer higher speed encoding, your quality is gonna be a lot lower, but it's gonna load a lot faster. If you have it on higher quality, it might take a few seconds, but when it does load, it's gonna be really, really clear. If you want to make my CPU hurt, you're gonna push your computer to its full max to give you the best quality that you could possibly get from your transcoder. So it's up to you. For me personally, I'm not going to mess with any of these settings. I'm going to keep it as automatic because pretty consistent when I'm watching my content, uh, I'm okay with that. So I, I like to set it at automatic. Uh, my background transcoding at x264 preset, uh, I have it on very fast. You can have it on ultra fast, super fast. For me, uh, right now, I have it currently at uh, super fast so you can actually change it to lower ones if you're needing to also and the last and final thing I do want to do share with you is um, Your quality depending on how many people that you have uh, shared so me personally I'm going to show you on my dashboard that my RAM my CPU. These are all healthy numbers currently right now I have someone watching currently. Oh, so that was me. That was on my other server. Okay <clears throat> So you can see here, if you start to see stuff that spike up really, really, really high, you definitely need to go through your settings, also your bandwidth, uh, your RAM. So if you have a lot of stuff that's running in the background, your computer could be using up a, lot, a little bit more of its RAM. Also you can kind of see what your CPU is doing, but it currently right now, the RAM is not super high and uh, this is really good. So you can actually see the traffic of the people that you are currently sharing your Plex media server to. So if say you have a lot of people, you can share this up to almost 100 people. If you're sharing your stuff and you're broadcasting from your server to your other potential viewers, uh, you definitely want to go and go through your, your quality settings. So while going through your quality settings, I have it on maximum because I'm only sharing it with my brother, my mother, uh, my wife, and I think that's it. And I only have a few people, so everyone has really good internet connections and uh, I'm not streaming any 4K content currently at the moment. So I have mine set to maximum. Now, if you have a lot of people and you want to not max out your CPU and max out your output, so it starts to buffer for a lot of people, if you start to see people complaining, hey, um, it's, it's starting to buffer a little bit and it doesn't load as fast, what you can do is uh, you can lower the quality to a like a lower preset to like two megabits per second at 720 and you can see if that will help with your traffic that is something that you definitely want to look and in, look into me personally i want the max push it to the maximum <laughs> i want the best quality possible but that's something that you definitely want to go through is uh messing with your quality messing with your transcoder and then also organizing so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little demonstration again if you guys are looking to start your guys' own plexus uh setup i do have the stuff inside the link in the description below gonna wrap up for today's video if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you guys are new and let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like to see uh, so uh, stay tuned for four, five, and six. It will be coming on the later date, and I will put it inside the community tab. And also, if you guys are following me on Twitter at iTrustStream, follow me on Twitter. I'll be announcing more information there. Also, and you guys want to follow me on Instagram if you want to see a little bit behind the scenes. It is my personal page. You can follow me inside the description below. So again, this is iTrustStream. Until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Late.